Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you the best Python REPL in the world. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, what is REPL? So REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print and Loop. Okay. So in Python it's like an interactive shell. It's how you interact with the Python interpreter. So when you first install Python, it comes with the default Python REPL. So if I tap here on my console Python 3, I get here the default Python REPL. So let's, for example, assign a string, a value to a string, for example, hello here. So here it reads all the variable here. It's evaluated and it's interpreted. Okay. So here I get x is equal to hello. So if I want to get, for example, the type of this variable here, x, I will just type here type and x. And as you can see, it's a string. This type is string. Okay. If I want to get all the functions for this class string, I will type dire for directory, then string. And I will get here a bunch of functions that comes with the class string. Okay. If I want to get help, I will type just help. So if I want to get help for a specific function, I will type stir for string dot the function I want to get help for. So for example, let's get help for the function upper. Here we go. So let's hit enter. Here you can see the help for this method. So actually it returns a copy of S, which is a string, converted to U per case. So this is the default Python REPL. So as you can see in this Python REPL, there is no syntax highlighting, there is no colorization, there is no highlights, nothing. So in order to tackle this uh, feature, I will install B Python, so B stands for a better Python. Okay, so let's close this one. Here we go. So it depends on what system you are actually. So, first of all, let me show you the home page for this B Python. So, this is it. So, this is the home page bpython-interpreter.org. So here you can download it. So you go to download section. So you can install it via pep or also it's available for the different uh, version of Linux that you have. For example, in Debian, you can just install it using apt-get install Python. For Fedora, you can use yum install bpython. Okay. It's also available for OpenSUSE, Solaris, OpenBSD. And of course, you can also get the packages for macOS and Windows. Okay. So here I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So in order to get it, I will just use yum install ppython, which I already done. So it's already installed. Okay. So in order to fire up this uh, ppython, all I have to do is to type ppython. Here we go. I miss typed something. Yes, actually, I have forgotten the Y. So now I'm inside this BPython better interpreter. Okay. So let's get into it and test it. So, for example, if I want to print something, print hello world, for example. So whenever I tap print, it gives me actually some hints. So it gives me print. So it shows me all the functions that begin with the letter P. Okay. And when I open parent I open parentheses, it gives me all the help for this function. Okay. With all its arguments. So I can enter the string I want hello world. So as you can see here, I get syntax highlighting and syntax colorization. Okay. And here we go. It's beautiful. It's simple. And also, it gives you help at runtime. Okay. 
so I get the result I needed. So now let's define, for example, a function and see how it works. So to define a function in Python, use the keyword def, then the function name, for example, say hello world. Say hello. Here, I already enter it. That's why it remembers it. Okay. So you can see here when I hit enter, I have auto indentation. So I don't need to hit the tab key to get the indentation because it's already done for me. So I'll print just something simple here. Print and I can say, for example, hi, hi, not hello, hi. And here I can enter here my variable, which is name here. Okay. So now I can say, say hello with Amina. I can use actually the right row key on my keyboard and I get the result I needed. Okay. And also it has kind of snippets. For example, let's import a model. So for example, the OS model here, it gives me all the models that begin with the letter O. So for example, import OS, I import the model OS. And when I tap OS dot, I get a bunch of functions that are inside this model. So I can choose whatever method I want, for example, get working directory, get working, get current working directory. Here we go. And of course, when I hit the parentheses, it gives me some hints here or function help. Here we go. So I get my current working directory. So as you can see here, okay. So it's very beautiful, it's very simple, and it gives you a hint whenever you are typing function or inserting model or anything else. Okay, so if I want to exit, I will tap that exit here. And here you can see it shows me I have to use exit with parentheses or control D to exit, which is pretty nice. So I'll just hit here control G. And before I leave you, I want just to show you that it also works with the file. So if you have a Python file and you want to execute it, you just have to type bpython, okay, minus i, then the file name that has some Python code inside it, and bpython can execute it using just this simple command here, okay. So that was just a brief introduction to this beautiful and really useful Python REPL. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.